My, my, I would say my son. <laughs> because, yes, and, and, um, my son was seven when I flew to space the first time. And so his whole life he was around training to be an astronaut. And um, my husband and I tried very much to share that experience with him. So he would feel like he was part of our crew and, and, and hopefully discover what he's excited about and what he's curious Shoot about. This. And then, and you know, along with all of you, we can watch him grow up and um, do really amazing things. Okay, thank you so much. Just wait here. Wait here. Wait there. You could, you could wait here. So uh, the next question, uh, just tell uh, what uh, your name is and the next question. Jessica Nyohuti from Kapiri Girls National STEM School. My question is, you've talked of how, to, how you identified your career, but the prob what problems did you face in case of the society, in terms of gender? What did you go through? Because, yeah. What Thanks, Jessica. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that question applies to everyone everywhere. You know, there are, there are always things, you know, some will have more challenges, some less, but I, I, I think no matter where you are, that, that's something we all deal with. Um, I feel very fortunate from, like, the gender side that I, 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 I don't remember really, really having to deal with that much, but it's out there. I've, I've watched it. Um, I think when... Um, the greatest challenge for me was self-confidence, um, doubt in myself, right? Even when nobody else told me I couldn't do something, I was feeling like, ooh, why, why would they pick me? Why have I ever done anything that, um, you know, would be worthy of them, them picking me? And I almost, I almost doubted myself out of something really extraordinary. And that's, that's one thing I would say to you, is really look, look into yourself and, and believe in what you are capable of. Don't let anyone tell you, you know, you can't. I've got my little guy, where is my little astronaut? Oh, I don't know where it went. But anyway, it says, here's how we can, not why we can't. And that's, that's, that's a motto I try to carry with me all the time now. And then also, I am sure there are people in that room today or people in your family or at school that they probably see more in you than you see in yourself. And take advantage of them in a, in a good way. Um, look to them for advice and look for them to be, for the encouragement and support that we all need. We all need it. And um, I would never have picked up the pen and filled out the application to be an astronaut without those kind of people in my life. Thank you so much, Nicole. And just girls, believe in yourself and uh, do what you enjoy and do what you like. So thank you very much. The next question. Hi, Nicole. My name is Louis Kaiwa from Finger Girls Secondary School. Uh, my question is, before you took off to space, how did you feel? Were you nervous? Were you happy? Or did you <laughs> feel like crying? Like, what was your experience? Yes, all, all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's true, all of those things. You are very, very excited to be, you know, you've trained so long to do this, you want to do it. Um, so you're smiling, you're happy, um, you're nervous in a way, but it's more about the way your family, I think, is feeling to watch you do this. Um, and you're anxious, you just don't know what it's going to feel like. So, you know, you're excited about that as well. It's, I, I highly recommend it, though. <laughs> Thank you very much. from Sunday Girls from Just Game School. I wanted to ask you, uh, you said you went to space. How long did you stay there? And you said you left your son when he was seven. Weren't you feeling, uh, I don't know, sad that you left your son alone and all that? Elena, can you, re can you repeat for me? So um, it's uh, when you, uh, how did you feel? Uh, when you left your son, uh, how long have you been in space? And uh, so you left your son on Earth, and how did you feel about that? Yeah, great, great question. Um, 
I think I, I, I did. He was seven when I flew the first time, and then he was nine when I flew the second time. And I think the thing that um, made it feel okay to, to do that was because I know that um, we're doing things in space that are about improving life on Earth, that there was, there's a, a greater good associated with it. And I had tried very hard to introduce my son to all of what that is. And um, I think that's what made it seem, you know, I think that's what made it okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. The next question. Hey, Nicole, it's good to meet you. Yeah. You um, my name is Victoria Angandu from Kenya Girls Secondary School. My question is out of curiosity. I have always wondered, and I have never found someone to answer me correctly. Um, is there, uh, are aliens real? Because I sometimes wonder, I'm like, okay, if there's life on Earth, is it, is it possible that there's... Keep going, keep going. Is it also possible that there's life on the other planets? And if yes, the aliens exist, do we have proof of it? Because I have been wondering and Every time I ask, no one answers me the way I want it. So, uh, are <laughs> aliens real? <laughs> you know, I don't know if I'll answer you the way you want either, but I, I believe there is. I think um, many, many people around the world are scientists, are, are studying just that, looking for just that, to find life in other places. Um, you know, we've found water on the moon now. We've found water you know, frozen water on, on Mars. We know there's these kinds of things in other places, the elements that allow life, like we know it at least, to exist. So um, I believe it is out there. We, we, haven't, we haven't found something like ourselves yet. <laughs> I don't know if that will ever happen, maybe. Um, but I, yeah, I, like you, I think, I mean, the universe is ginormous, right? There's, there's things we don't even know yet about places that are out there. So um, yeah, I didn't see, unless they were teeny, teeny, tiny, and looking back at me and I didn't know that they were out there, <laughs> I don't know if I if Thank you I, very I, much, yeah. Nico. Thank you for the question. And I would ask the girls to stay here because we will uh, present them. Uh, we have presents for them. Hi, Nico. Hi, Nicole. Hi. Uh, my name is Lugano Chola of David Kaunda National STEM Secondary School. And I've got two questions for you. First of all, how did you balance being an astronaut and being a woman? And on top of that, you are a mom. So how did you balance the two? And my second question is, since in space we've got black holes that suck in things, is there a possibility that white holes exist and they do the opposite? Wow, okay, so first question. I think the, the one thing I'll say about the, the being a woman and being an astronaut is like for, for anything else, the rocket ship doesn't care if you're a boy or girl. So you've got to find that in yourself and, and know that as you're going forward. The people around you will, will support you. Um, as with the balance, uh, the, the mother, the wife, it was, I think, with my husband, we did a very good job of just um, bringing our son up, understanding what we were doing and sharing why we were doing it and uh, having him meet the people we were working with. And um, I think that was key to, to having, having that balance too. And, and I'm very fortunate to have a husband who is extremely supportive of me and the work that I'm doing and the rest of my family as well. And the second question, the black hole, white, I don't know. You know, I'm not. I'm not a um, a scientist, and, and I, I get afraid. I, it scares me when I get the black hole questions because I don't really <laughs> know anything about them. So I have to admit, I just. But that's an. I've never heard that one before, and it's an extremely interesting idea that I'm going to have to go off and look for it now. <laughs> Actually, we have a scientist. Thank you very much for answering the first question, and we have a scientist in the room. They could discuss it, like uh, Excellent. after this. Excellent. Thank you. Just Thank you. wait here. Hi, Nicole. My name is Zangi from David Kaunda National STEM School, and my question is out of curiosity. Is it true that after visiting space, 
When you come back to Earth, you won't be able to move on your own for a few months. Well, um, when we get back, we feel very heavy, right? You, you've been floating for months, and then you get back home, and you just you realize how much gravity loads our bodies down, which is why it's so important to get up and move. It's good for our bodies. Um, I don't know anybody that wasn't able to get up or at least you know move when they got back. Um, everybody's a little bit different, but really it's only um, you know a few days before you're feeling like you can walk around and move and stuff again. But it does take a couple months for your body to just recover in general from um, being in space. And we do a lot of exercise uh, when we get back. Our physical trainers make us go at it right, right as soon as we get off the spaceship, they're working us out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nicole. Thank you for your questions. Nicole, we, we have presents like waterfall, a victory waterfall, which is in Zambia from space, which made just, we just uh -huh. made. And also we have uh, pictures, photos of the cosmonauts you know very well, Fyodor Yurchikhin and Nikolai Korenienko. And yeah. we will present it to the girls right now, signed specially for them. And I just told that, that, that uh, the ISS is the home of the uh, like, like cosmonauts and astronauts from different countries uh, live like like a family together, and there is no politics there. It's just just friendship.